Matrix Optimum Woman is the only woman's high-potency full-spectrum multiple vitamin supplement to contain 56 nutrients including those most important for today's woman, such as calcium for bone health, iron for healthy red blood cells, beta-carotene, biotin for nail and hair health, gamma-linoleic acid from evening primrose oil, octosanol, grape seed extract, a potent antioxidant important for maintaining capillary strength, and vegetarian digestive enzyme. Visit www.biomedrxsupplements.com. Gold Label Quality Biomed RX CBD Oil is made from organic hemp that is locally grown, glyphosate-free, gluten-free, non-GMO, homogenized, third-party tested, and CO2 extracted. Visit www.biomedrxcbd.com. Hi, this is Devin Lockett, the president of Jobsite Route. As the son of a general contractor, I know how difficult it can be to get good food on the job site. And letting your construction workers leave the job site to buy lunch just takes valuable time away from them being on the site. I've developed an app and a program that will bring a steady stream of food trucks to your job sites every month for the low price of only $100 per month per site. That comes up to about $3 per day to have a steady stream of food trucks coming to your job sites all day, every working day. You can also contact the food trucks ahead of time and pre-order your food from the menu on our app. This saves valuable time for your construction workers and for you. It also sends a variety of delicious food served on Southern California food trucks to your job sites all day. When you think about it, it only makes sense to join the Job Site Route Network.
Biometrics Optimum Woman is the only woman's high-potency full-spectrum multiple vitamin supplement to contain 56 nutrients including those most important for today's woman, such as calcium for bone health, iron for healthy red blood cells, beta-carotene, biotin for nail and hair health, gamma-linoleic acid from evening primrose oil, octosanol, grape seed extract, a potent antioxidant important for maintaining capillary strength, and vegetarian digestive enzyme. Visit www.biomedrxsupplements.com. Sorry, I made the, made the intro last a little longer than I expected this morning. I was sharing this video with a lot of people. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Good morning. Good morning and happy hump day. I hope you guys appreciate my uh, hump day um, thumbnail. I think it looks pretty damn cool. Let's do a quick sound check. Make sure that my uh, audio levels are coming up nicely. You're going to hear a little bit of feedback here pretty soon um i'll try to keep it to a respectable level though hold on one second Nice, nice, nice. So good morning, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. It is Wednesday. Uh, got a couple of things I wanted to talk to you guys about. A um, couple of people, actually. You know, it's funny to get good news, to get real news. We have to, um, we got to give it to ourselves. We got to give it to each other because uh, CNN and even Fox News, all of the uh real news stations or you know supposedly accepted news stations news outlets refuse to tell us the truth about these things so i would like to talk about a gentleman uh, i'd like you guys to search for uh um, online search for a gentleman by the name of dennis butler You can also search Dennis Butler AR-15. All right. Dennis Butler. So I'm going to share this. I'm going to share this with you guys. We can talk about this because, you know, I'm a firm believer in our Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms. And I'm a firm believer that... Um, the best way to stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun, or in this case, a good girl with a gun. And uh, so we're going to transition over here, and I'm going to see if I can't. Uh, well, actually, let's see. Let me see here. Let's see if I can first share. this window with you okay there we go all right so let's do it Ooh, we're gonna have to do something about this yeah I guess it works all right, so here we go. So I'm just going to go over all of these uh, articles here. All right, I want you to read about this because this is, you know, this is the type of thing that should hit the news. Okay, and, you know, 
As you can see here, Snopes, did CNN, NBC, and ABC not cover the Dennis Butler? Let's see. Did CNN, NBC, and ABC not cover the Dennis Butler shooting in West Virginia? According to the Associated Press, a woman in Charleston, West Virginia, shot and killed a man named Dennis Butler, who had begun firing an AR-15 style rifle into a crowd at a party. Okay. All right, so this is Snopes, so you know they have to look at all of the you know, whatever, right? A copy, a claim, a copy and paste Facebook post about the West Virginia shooting of Dennis Butler, a man who began firing into a crowd at a party with an AR-15 style. Now, this is the rating. Mostly true. This incident described in the viral Facebook post really did happen in May 2022. Police credited an unidentified woman who used a pistol with a preventing with a with preventing a mass casualty incident. It's also true, as far as we could ascertain, that CNN, NBC News, and MSNBC did not report on the shooting. However, we found several minor inaccuracies in the popular post, all of which will be detailed in the article below. In June 2022, we were asked by readers to do a look at a Facebook post that was being copied and pasted. The viral post claimed that a woman pulled out a pistol while attending a party at an apartment complex in Charleston, West Virginia, shooting and killing a convicted felon named Dennis Butler after he began firing an AR-15 at the crowd. CNN, ABC News, NBC News, MSNBC, and other liberal news outlets did not report the news post claim, the post claimed. While many of the major details in the post were indeed correct, it did contain several minor inaccuracies. Butler's apparent attempt to gun down partygoers in West Virginia came just one day after the mass shooting at Robb Elementary in Uvalde, Texas. The Uvalde incident re resulted in the deaths of 19 children and two adults. At least 17 others were wounded, including both children and adults. The tragic shooting reignited the debate over enacting stricter gun control laws in the U.S. The Facebook post. At least two posts on Facebook that featured the copy and paste story received thousands of shares. One of those posts appeared on a Facebook page named We Are Pro 2. This indicated that strong supporters of the Second Amendment were using the Charleston shooting in order to advance their opinions of the role of guns in American society. In the same way, those who support stricter gun control measures were using the Uvalde shooting school shooting to advance their cause their case excuse me a copy the copy and paste facebook post that's in question in this fact check reads as follows on friday may 27 2022 a four-time convicted felon dennis butler opened fire on a graduation party in charleston west virginia with a stolen ar-15 a woman in set pulled her legally owned and registered handgun from her purse and shot him dead before anyone was injured. Before anyone was injured. You go, girl. I'm sorry I couldn't post this earlier. However, I couldn't find anything about it on CNN, ABC, NBC, MSNBC, or any of the other liberal news outlets. The facts, according to police, it's true that a woman who was not identified really did shoot and kill Butler after he began firing an AR-15 style rifle at the crowd, uh, at a crowd that had gathered for a birthday graduation party in West Virginia, according to reporting from the Associated Press. The shooting occurred on May 25th, not May 27th, as was stated in a Facebook post. Okay, so that's a minor uh, inaccuracy. Other than Butler's death, there were no other injuries. That was a fact. That was true. WRAL.com reported that Lieutenant Tony Hazard with Charleston Police Department said the woman prevented a mass, ca mass casualty incident, stopping the threat of probably 20 or 30 people getting killed. WRAL.com also published that this woman was carrying her firearm lawfully. 
We didn't find any reporting to confirm that the woman specifically pulled the pistol from a purse, as was mentioned in the Facebook post. However, this was a small and rather unimportant detail. As for Butler's criminal history, WHCS, uh, WHSTV.com reported that he was a convicted felon, just as the post claimed. We are still in the process of confirming with police whether he was in fact a four-time convicted felon, as was uh, whether the AR-15 style rifle he used was indeed stolen. CNN, ABC, NBC, and MSNBC. The Facebook posts also at least somewhat were at least somewhat correct about the lack of reporting. Yep. Yep, and that's the most important thing that he should be that they that the post should be accurate and correct about. So quit the balls, okay? Uh, the, we were unable to locate any evidence that CNN, NBC News, or MSNBC had reported the news, whether on their websites, in online videos, or on broadcast for television. I can't even find any videos for this. I can't find any videos to post on this. ABC News did, in fact, report on the shooting by, public, by republishing the story from the Associated Press. So the Associated Press and Reuters, they were publishing it. They told they told everyone, hey, this is news. Our news outlets decided not to show it. As for the NBC, as for NBC News, we found no published articles about the shooting or or Butler's death on NBCNews.com or in transcripts from any of NBC's national broadcasts. At the same time, we did notice that the story from the AP was republished by NBCChicago.com, NBCNewYork.com, and other news websites. The AP story was also republished on CBSNews.com. In other words, the news about Butler, a man who fired an AR-15 style rifle into a crowd who was shot and taken down by a woman with a pistol, was readily available on multiple well-known news. Oh, you see, now that's, that's, a de- that's, that, that, that's, that's a biased defense of your fellow yellow journalists. Children were playing. According to the AP police that uh, said that Butler had been warned earlier in the evening by unidentified persons to slow his driving because children were playing nearby at the apartment complex. He later returned with an AR-15 style rifle and began firing. Dennis Butler, 37, was killed Wednesday night after he pulled out the rifle and began shooting at dozens of people attending the birthday graduation party outside an apartment complex in the city of Charleston, police said in a statement. The woman, who was attending the party, drew a pistol and fired, killing Butler, the statement said. No one at the party was injured. Instead of running from the threat, she engaged with the threat and saved several lives last night, Chief Chief of Detectives Tony Hazlett told news outlets Thursday. Butler was at the apartment complex earlier in the evening in a vehicle and had been warned to slow down because children were playing, police said. They said he left, but returned later, parked in front of the complex, and began firing. The reporting said that no charges would be fired against the woman who killed Butler. Ooh, yeah. In some, the woman did, according to police, shoot and kill Butler with a pistol while he was firing an AR-15-style rifle into a crowd, very likely preventing a mass casualty incident. However, the popular copy and paste Facebook post that described the shooting included a few inaccurate. Oh, get out of here. So this is it. For these reasons described, we chose a rating of mostly true. All right. Well, there you go. Mostly true. And that's from Snopes. So we got Snopes with their little yellow journalistic, you know, defense of, of, uh, of uh, you know, their fellow AP, AP butt buddies. Know to be alert. See, that has nothing to do with the shooting. So, yeah, here we are. Thank you very much. I mean, you know, what are you going to say, right? What are you going to do? What are you going to say? It's uh, it's grim. We don't like it. But I'm glad that that lady did what she did because she saved a lot of people from being killed. 
Yes, 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 she did. So let me get back here and do another uh, levels check. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, check my sound levels, make sure everything's coming in good. So, it is a beautiful morning here at the Biomed RX Health Center. Um, I think I'm going to get up from my desk and talk to you from the other office. Let me see. Bear with me, people. Let me get my next scene set up. 